हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एजुपीडिया वाल वीडियोस वी आर लर्निंग पावर पॉइंट एंड माय नेम इज नीरू वर्मा टॉपिक फॉर टुडे सेशन इज अप्लाइंग एनिमेशन एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट फ्यू ऑफ द एनिमेशन टेक्निक्स इन द प्रीवियस सेशन फॉर एग्जांपल द एंट्रेंस एम्फेसिस एंड एग्जिट in this session we'll discuss about the motion path these are the similar to m phases effect except the object moves within the slide along a predetermined path like circle or some arc so we we'll learn in this session that how we can apply the motion paths to the object we already have a object here inserted on the slide now suppose we want to apply the animation to it click on the animation tab and we have a option here more motion path click here now you have some basic shapes here like you can see here circle diamond so you can select any shape let me take the square shape and click on okay now this is how this object is going to move let me play the animation it's making a square here so this is how it moves let me insert a new slide now suppose if i want to insert any object here let's insert it from the clip art Okay let's say we have this object and we want to move the object now click on the animations then select more motion path play the animation and you can see that how the object is getting rotated let me insert the other object here okay click on the more motion path now play the animation and you can see that the object is getting moved you have a lot of options available here like the zigzag up turn so if you want you can apply the multiple animations as well for example let's say we apply this animation up click on okay so once you play the animation it's going to move in the upward direction after that we want to add more animation for the path all only so click on add animation and click on more motion path now we want to add some other is or the r cup okay so let's play the animation now and see what's going to happen yeah this is how the object is moving it's taking all these path which has been drawn here so once we are going to run the slide show you press enter on the click it's going to play the animation 
so this is how the animation themes can be designed we want to see the animations that has been applied click on the animation you can see that in the animation pane also this is the animation pane which is showing you that how many animations are applied to it now suppose if I want to add more animation then again click on more motion path and once again this okay you can move this path to some other place now we can make some changes we want that the animation will take place on its own so we have to start it start on the click then for the second animation we want to select start after the previous start after the previous so now let's run the slideshow press enter and you can see that what's gonna happen to the object now so this is how it moves again I want to add the animation this is how you can design your own animations you can design your own effects that what animations you want to add here you can create the kind of animated movies also by giving these path you have an object and you want that object to move in a particular way when you are going to play the slideshow or you are going to play the movie it would be like as if the object is moving on its own you are going to press enter and after that you can see that how this is going to move on its own ok the third one the next animation path we have selected start after the previous we need to select now we can see the slideshow three times it's going to move one and three yeah that's it suppose we have a person standing here we can give the same path and then it would be like the person would be walking with the umbrella so in this way you can design your own themes you can give the motion path to, to different objects and then you can play around with the options like instead of giving that on click animations we have applied it after previous means the animation is going to take place automatically once first animation is going to be finished so in this way you can with the multiple tricks you can also create the animation animated movies using this powerpoint so that was it about the motion paths I guess you have learned and you have understand how the object is going to move on its own by providing the motion paths so in the animation instead of providing the entrance emphasis and exit path we do have one important option available that is the motion path that can be given to the objects so that was it for uh, today's session I guess we have understand and we have learned about the emphasis path also thanks everyone thank you for watching Edupedia world videos